2025 is almost over and instead of the sharp global decline promised after the Paris Agreement, the world is closing the year with record level emissions. According to Carbon Brief, fossil fuel and cement CO2 output is projected to rise by about 1.1% in 2025, reaching 38.1 billion tonnes, the highest ever. When land use change is added, total global CO2 for the year stands at roughly 42.2 billion tonnes, a number essentially tied with 2024 as the highest in history. Before we continue, subscribe to Down to Earth for grounded, science-based reporting on climate and environment. Here's what the data shows. Fossil fuels continue to dominate, making up about 90% of the global emissions in 2025, according to Carbon Brief. Land use emissions from deforestation, forest degradation, and peat loss are projected to drop nearly 10% this year. Helped by reduced forest loss in South America, and the end of a dry El Nino phase. But that decline is too small to counter the rise in oil, gas and coal. Coal still accounts for around 42% of the fossil CO2, oil about 33% and gas roughly 21%. The deepest concern is carbon budget. The current global temperature is 1.28 degrees Celsius according to climate.gov and world can emit only about 170 billion tons more CO2 to stay within 1.5 degrees Celsius limit. At today's emission levels, this entire budget will vanish in around 4 years, far earlier than the Paris Agreement's expectations. The budget was meant to last much longer but continued fossil growth has compressed it into a dangerously short timeline. Carbon budgets to limit warming to 1.7 degrees Celsius and 2 degrees Celsius would similarly be used up in 12 and 25 years respectively according to Carbon Brief. As scientists quoted, staying below 1.5 degrees Celsius is now essentially impossible if emissions keep rising. The world's three largest emitters, China, the United States and India all contribute to this year's rise, though for different reasons. China's emissions show only a small increase, but the country's overall scale keeps global total high. The United States sees one of the sharpest jumps around 1.9% with emissions, nearing 5 billion tons in 2025, driven by more coal use and higher heating demand. India's growth is slower than before, about 1.4% with its 2025 emissions around 3.23 billion tons. An early monsoon and rapid solar expansion helped limit India's coal growth, but its overall emissions still rise. Global emissions have flattened but at the highest level ever recorded. Land use improvements aren't enough. Carbon sinks are weakening and fossil fuel demand keeps climbing. With only four years of carbon space left, the world remains far from the trajectory the Paris Agreement envisioned. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions, do write to us by commenting on this video.